This video is about exponential growth and decay functions. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.2. If you appreciate the content, please give it a like. Ether invests $6,000 in an account that earns 7% interest per year. This is an exponential growth problem. Exponential growth or decay can be modeled by f of t equals a0 times b to the t power where a0 is the initial amount and b is the growth factor. In this case a0 is the initial amount of $6,000. Since the account is increasing by 7% each year, we can find b by adding 100% plus 7%. That's 107% which is equivalent to 1.07. For the growth factor, always use the decimal form as opposed to the percent. Putting it all together, the value of Ether's account after t years can be modeled by 6,000 times 1.07 to the t power. Part A asks how much money will be in the account after 5 years. They are asking for the value of f at 5. This problem is calculator active. So let's put f of t into the calculator as y1. First reset your calculator by hitting second plus seven one two. That's second plus seven one two. That gives you a fresh calculator. Hit y equals and type in f of t as y1. y1 is now f of t. We need to evaluate f at five we can do that by evaluating y1 at 5 on the calculator. To make y1 show up, we hit alpha trace and hit enter for y1. To evaluate y1 at 5, just put 5 in parentheses next to y1. So the value of f at 5 is 8415.3103. The College Board will accept three decimal places. However, students will often lose a point for rounding incorrectly. So, I suggest always using four decimal places and never try to round. Part B asks, how long will it take for the account to reach $8,000? In other words, when will f at t equal 8,000? We can find this on the graphing calculator by finding the intersection point between f of t and the line y equals 8,000. Simply type in 8,000 as y2 and look for that intersection point. First we need to adjust the window. The input values represent time, so we can let x min be 0. We don't know how long it will take for the output value to reach 8,000, so let's leave x max as 10 for now. The output values represent the value of Ether's account. We can set y min to be 0, but uh, y max needs to be something over 8,000 since we need to see the intersection point at an output value of 8,000. So I'm going to put 10,000. Let's hit graph and take a look. We just need to find the intersection point which is right here. Hit second trace and choose option 5 for intersect. Move the pointer close to the point of intersection and hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. And there it is, 4.2519. It will take 4.2519 years for Aether's account to reach $8,000. Example 5. Kayla buys a car that is initially worth $26,000. The car decreases in value, or depreciates, at a rate of 12% each year. Exponential decay can be modeled by f of t is equal to a0 times b to the t power, where a0 is the initial value, which is $26,000, and b is the growth factor. We can find the growth factor by subtracting 100% minus the 12% annual depreciation. This is 88%, or as a decimal, which is what we really want, 0 
The value of Kayla's car can be modeled by f of t equals 26,000 times 0 0.88 to the t power. Part A asks, what is the value of the car after 6 years? Well, that's just the value of f at 6. We can use the graphing calculator to evaluate f at 6. Just type in f of t as y1 and then quit your way to a blank screen. To make y1 appear, hit alpha, trace, and enter. To evaluate y1, which is f of t, at 6, simply put 6 in parentheses next to it, like this. Kabam! 12,074.5062. Part B says, when will the value of the car be 18,000? In other words, when will f at t equal 18,000. We can use the graphing calculator to find when f of t will equal 18,000 by finding the intersection point between f of t and 18,000. We may need to adjust the window. Uh, from the previous problem, we have it set 0 to 10. The y max needs to be over 18,000. So uh, let's change this to 20,000. Hit graph and let's see what we've got. So the intersection point is right here. Let's hit second, trace, choose option 5 for intersect, move the pointer close to the point of intersection, and hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. So that's it. 2.8765. Kabam! Example 6. A population of bacteria triples every day. Initially, there are 1,500 bacteria. Exponential growth like this can be modeled by f of t equals a0 times b to the t power. a0 is the initial amount, which is 1,500 bacteria. The b value is the growth factor, which they gave us directly when they told us that the population triples every day. That means the growth factor is 3. If they said that the population doubled every day, b would equal 2. Putting it all together, the population after t days can be modeled by f of t equals 1500 times 3 to the t power. Part A asks, what is the population of bacteria after 5 days? That's f at 5. We can use the graphing calculator to evaluate f at 5 by typing f of t in as y1. Quit your way to a blank screen. To evaluate f at 5, we need to now evaluate y1 at 5. You can make y1 show up by hitting alpha, trace, enter. You can evaluate y1 at 5 by putting 5 in parentheses next to the y1 like this and hit enter. And there it is. The population after 5 days is 364,500. Part B asks, when will the bacteria population reach 1 million? In other words, at what time t will f at t equal 1 million? I think you know where this is headed. Let's type in 1 million as y2. And find the intersection point between f at t and 1 million. We will definitely have to adjust the window. We need to be over 1 million. So let's make that y max be, uh, I'm going to say, 1,500,000. And hit graph. And that's the intersection point we are looking for. So hit second, trace, 5 for intersect. Move the pointer close to the point of intersection and hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. And that's it, 5.9186. The bacteria population will reach 1 million after 5.9186 days. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. But also, if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, 
which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.